All right, welcome back to the channel. Well, unless you've been living under a rock for the last few days, you know that the World Cup of Soccer is going on. Now, soccer or football, depending on where you're from, has always held a special place in my heart. You see, in the inner cities of Memphis, you know, I rarely ever came across soccer. But when I did, it always seemed to teach me a valuable lesson. You see, I tried to play in high school and the team was very diverse. It had a coach from Portugal, players from Asia, Africa, and Central America. And it never failed as soon as we rolled that ball onto the field. All differences seemed to go away. But that came back again years later when I was stationed in the Middle East with the Army. You see, when I got there, I had some good leadership. And they decided as opposed to standing guard at the gates to keep the locals out, we'd actually go out to build community. So we reached out to some local organizations here in the States and they sent us all kind of goodies to give out to the locals. So we would pack our armored vehicles full of all kind of gear, I'm talking about school supplies and medical supplies, vaccines, toys, clothes, shoes, and we'd roll into these villages. As soon as we get there, the higher ups would go and find the senior leaderships within the villages to interact with them. But as lower enlisted, we would immediately go and find the youth because we knew community started with the youth. We'd find kids, teenagers and young adults. And one thing we found, despite the language barrier, there were two words that were international. Football and Pepsi. So even though we had all these goodies on the back of these trucks, the first thing we would pull out would be a soccer ball or a football, depending on what you want to call it. We hand it out to the kids and immediately the game would kick off. Smiles would begin to shine, laughter would begin to erupt, and good times would begin to be had. And as soon as that would happen, we'd break out the Pepsis and start handing them out. And then soon enough, all the differences, all the languages barriers would disappear, and next thing you knew, community would begin to be built. That being said, during this World Cup, I want to invite you to go out there, find someone who's a little different from you, try to reach out to them, pull out a Pepsi, maybe play some soccer, and start to build community. Even though I thought that I would be a blessing to these people by bringing these medical supplies and things to them, it turns out they were a blessing to me. They will be my earth angels by teaching me a lesson that I would carry with me for the rest of my life. Thanks for joining us.